In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Bose Quiet Comfort 35 Mark II's. Hello, my name is Jay Lou, and welcome to another Jay Lou review. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, consider subscribing for more review videos just like this one. So I am a huge fan of Bose products. I've been using their products for years, mainly because they last so long, as well as their sound is top notch, as well as their build quality. So today I'm gonna to be looking at the Bose Quiet Comfort 35 Mark IIs. Those are noise canceling headphones. I'm gonna be sharing my pros and cons as well as my recommendation as to whether I think you should buy these headphones or not. But before I get started, just a quick disclaimer, I am not affiliated or sponsored by Bose in any way. So this review is gonna be all my honest feedback and opinions. So let's get to it. So starting off with the pros, definitely number one is the sound quality. The sound quality on these things are truly amazing. One of the things that I noticed when I first started using these headphones was some of the sounds that were in some of the tracks that I've heard hundreds and hundreds of times. But when you put these headphones on, it's like you can hear some of the specific sounds that the mix engineer and the producer designed for you to actually to be able to hear. But when you're listening to it in a car or on a speaker, you can't really hear it. But when you've got these headphones and they're so crystal clear, the high end, the low end, and you can hear every single instrument and every single hit of percussion, every single sound, it's like, whoa, like this is so much more. And it kind of, you kind of are in your own kind of space or bubble. You get embraced and immersed in the actual sound. It's really an experience all because of the sound quality. Also, along with that is the noise canceling. So the noise canceling on these are very good as well. There's actually three different settings. There's high, low, and then there's off. And so most of the time when I'm listening, I like to have it on high. And that really allows you to hear everything, again, that the track has to offer in every single sound. So when you're listening to it, it's like you and the song, you and the track, you and the artist, and you can't hear anything else. But what's also nice about that is you can turn it off. So if you want to be more aware of your surroundings, you can turn the noise canceling off and you can hear more of what's going around. But again, the sound quality on these things is top notch. I mean, I can't say that enough. And I really like the sound quality. So number two is the fit and comfort. Now the fit and comfort of these headphones is very good. I have them on right now and it really doesn't feel like I'm wearing headphones. They feel like I just have like these little cushions around my ear and then I can also feel the little cushion on top. Now some headphones, when you have them on for a long period of time, your ears start to get fatigued, they start to throb, but however, these go around the ear. It has a nice little headband over top as well just to that's adjustable so if you have a smaller head or if you have a big head <laughs> you can make these things stretch and they'll be able to go over your ears so i definitely like the fit i had these on uh, pretty much all day uh, last weekend i took a trip to florida and i had these on while i was traveling pretty much the whole day and i didn't have any fatigue my ears weren't throbbing or anything like that they felt very comfortable and I definitely can see myself wearing these for hours at a time without having the need to, you know, feel like I have to take them off and my ears start to hurt. Which brings me to number three, which is the battery life. The battery life on these headphones is the best that I've ever seen on any Bluetooth headphone or speaker. They're rated up to 20 hours per full charge or 40 hours if you have a wired connection. So what that means is that you literally can almost wear these and listen to these all day without the battery going bad. When I first opened these up, the battery life was at 70%. When you turn them on, you flip the switch, the power button, there's a voice that comes on and tells you how much battery life you had. So when I first opened up the box, it was 70%. And that first night, I spent about an hour and a half listening to the headphones, just kind of understanding what they're like and just enjoying them, listening to some of my favorite songs. And I put them away for the night. The next day I turned them back on and again, it said that the battery was at 70%. So I was like, yo, this is crazy. I mean, I listened to it, you know, not 
for very long, but an hour and a half, and it was still at 70%. And like I said, I took a trip to Florida last weekend. I was wearing them, listening to them basically all day. And I didn't even have to worry about the battery life. I mean, I really wasn't even paying attention. So the battery life is probably the best feature of these headphones, just because you can literally almost spend the whole day listening to them and not have to charge it. So for practical use, you probably can go a few days, maybe even a week without having to charge these headphones. So thumbs up on battery life. Next is the build quality. Now the build quality of Bose products, again, is very, very good. On these headphones, is no exception. When I first opened it up, it actually came with this nice leather case uh, that came packaged in this, folded up. And a case like this is a very nice touch for a couple of reasons. One, it just shows that you know, this nice case just shows the quality and the craftsmanship and just the small details that makes you know and feel like, wow, this is a very, very high quality product. Number two is that it's important for headphones and other electronics to be able to store them and be able to maintain them over time so they will last a long time. So with these headphones, you get this very nice case which allows you to fold them up even put the cord, the cart, the, the charging cord inside of them. Make sure that they're protected when you're traveling. So something like this really goes a long way for allowing these headphones to have the most value and to be able to be the most valuable that they can for a long period of time. On the actual headphone, these are very, very solid. Um, they don't feel plasticky. You can tell that they're they're very solid. They're very you know, sturdy, they'll be hard to break, but they're also very soft in all, in all the right places. <laughs> it's it's hard and it's hard and soft in all the right places. So anywhere that's going to be contacting your head or around your ears is where it's soft, and everywhere else is going to be very nice and sturdy. So you know, I don't I don't necessarily want to try testing and throwing these around on the ground, but if you are a little rough with your headphones or if you use them in certain applications where you're tossing them here, tossing them there, I definitely believe that they can take the beat. And lastly, number five is the user experience. So with these headphones, it comes compatible with the Bose Connect app, which you can use on your phone or your tablet. And what that allows you to do is basically have a few extra features or have some visual feedback when it comes to connecting the headphones as well as adjusting some of the settings. Now this feature of the Bose Connect app is not something that's necessary, but it is a nice touch for you to have. So you can change the settings visually from your phone without having to adjust them actually on the headphones. So the user experience with this app and connecting the, the headphones is very easy, it's very simple. So anyone who wants to be able to connect these and use these can do so without having any problems. So now that we talked about the pros, let's talk a little bit about the cons with these headphones. So I have two. One is the size of these headphones. Now, you might look at the headphones and be like, ah, oh, you know, they're you know, normal size, but when you actually put these on, they're kind of big, at least, at least for me and what I'm used to. So the size is not a big deal. However, you know, if you're looking to be able to lay down with these or relax on the couch or on a pillow, these might be a little bit too big. And sometimes I do like to lay down with some headphones and listen to some meditations or some easy, easy listening music. And I want to be able to be comfortable laying down, but these headphones can kind of get in the way of that which is again, a, not a huge deal, but if you're looking for something that you can relax in, um, these headphones might just be a little too big. So I wish they were a little bit smaller, but again, they do go over the ear. They're very comfortable, soft in all the right places. Number two is the price. Now this might be a deal breaker for some. It might even be a deal breaker for me. And so at the time of this recording, these headphones cost $349, which that is one of the highest I've seen for wireless headphones of its class. Even though these are top notch, these are the best that Bose offers, the price tag is very high. Now what you're gonna get is a very high quality product and some people won't mind paying for that. But one of the things that I like to do is called the value test. And the value test basically is how much I would be willing to pay myself for the value that I see and what I gain from having the product. 
So these headphones are great. The sound quality is awesome. However, there are other options on the table that may allow me to get maybe not as great or as amazing as what these headphones can, but do the job and do it well. So I would have to say for my value test, I will give it a value of $250 or $249. That's basically the amount I would be willing to pay for these headphones, given the value that I see and what they bring to me. So at the end of the day, do I recommend these headphones? I would say yes, 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 yes. I would recommend these headphones if you're someone who travels or if you like to listen to music at home where you wanna be able to hear everything, and I mean everything that each track has. It's a tough decision because they are $350. I would be willing to pay $250, so I might be returning these to be completely honest and maybe looking at another set of Bose headphones that are a little bit cheaper. And if the price tag is something that you can work with, then yeah, absolutely. I 100% recommend these. So that's all I got for you. If you want to see my review of another Bose product, the Bose SoundLink Mini Bluetooth speaker, I'll put a link up here as well as in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Also, let me know in the comments section if you've tried these headphones before and what you think. Until next time, this is Jay Lou with Jay Lou Views signing off.